Yeah, I, we're here with Maya Iverson with the sound. I'm nervous as fuck. <laughs> it's all good. It's all good. So the tour is winding down, right? This yeah. is the end of the tour. Yeah. What happens next year? What are you guys gonna do next year? You know, um, I think it's uh, late January, early February. We're gonna start uh, a European tour because okay. we need to cover all the markets. You know, we're one of the luckiest band ever to actually have like an international career. We can tour North America, we can do South America, we can do Europe, we've been to Australia. There's only one place that I want to go to that we haven't been to yet, and that's Japan. Japan? So, yeah. <laughs> there you go, you're looking at a Japanese guy here. half Japanese right I'm half Japanese, yeah. He grew up in Japan. My brother is actually working in Tokyo right now. Really? Yeah, he has a really good job in Tokyo. Nice. So I would love to go there. But, yeah, this... Um, so the European leg will kick off in January. So you got, what, like four weeks off? Um, no, I think we have a little bit more. I think uh, we're going to celebrate Christmas and New Year's at home. Um, I have a couple things that I need to do, like, uh, besides the band. Um, a couple, I Collaborations? Think yeah. There you and, go. Uh, Can you say who it's with? Not really. Are they European <laughs> bands or American bands? It's a DJ thing. Okay. So they want. We can look for that. Yeah. I, I mean, um, hopefully it's going to work out. Um, unfortunately, it needs to be done pretty soon. And I, you know, it, being on tour, uh, you want to concentrate on being on tour, and it's sometimes hard to write. When you're on tour. Uh, have you guys been writing on tour? Yeah, a little bit. Yeah. I just wrote some lyrics today for uh, a song that me and Felix has been working on. So. This comes from a fan. Yeah. If you guys are going to keep touring, and we're going to have nothing from you guys for a couple of years, yeah. how about putting out like an acoustic album that of all your old stuff? That would be cool. That would be cool. Yes, I've seen um, what the, the set you did at Red Bull. Yeah. Put that on an album. Yeah. Um, the set you did with uh, Rock and It was in a Hollywood theater or something. Oh. All your stripped down acoustic stuff. Oh yeah, stuff. yeah, yeah. yeah it's very cool. Yeah, I think you know, like playing acoustic shows is is <clears> fun <throat> in one way. Yeah. On the other hand, it's so far away from what we do live, right. you know. But so for your fans, you're giving them something while you're still working on another album. That's true. Yes, that's that true. would be very cool. But we've been uh, actually uh, bringing uh, cameras with us on this tour, so. Mm -hmm. We've been shooting uh, a lot of like backstage things and uh, even on stage filming like the show and the crowd and everything. But we have we did that even like in the early days of our career, like even way back like in the year 2000. Mm -hmm. It's like still VHS tapes <laughs> <laughs> and those. Oh my God! Oh, that is like so crazy to look at because we were so young and we hardly knew how to play any instruments. I didn't have, I've never been singing before. We were always super no. drunk. And you and guys are all friends from high school, right? Yeah, I mean, basically me and Felix went to the same class in high school. And that's how I ended up in the band. Cause I was uh, playing guitar in different bands before, uh, but I was never a singer and one day, um, they asked us to do uh, in music class. They wanted to play. They wanted us to play a cover to perform uh, in front of the rest of the class. And me and Felix ended up in the same group of five. And I said, "Well, I know this song from Smashing Pumpkins it's called Soma. Uh, so I can teach you guys the chords and I know the lyrics, but we got to find somebody who can sing it because I'm not a singer." Well, he's like, "Well, if you know the lyrics, then you should try. sing it." Exactly. Like, oh, Really? Do I have to? Do you to get do? stage fright? Like, no. Are you nervous? No, no, no. I wasn't nervous. I was just more like, I don't know how to sing. Because I'm fucking nervous. <laughs> <laughs> I'm nervous. I don't sing, I don't do any of that shit, but I'm nervous right now. Oh, that's just, that's just cute. Oh, man. <laughs> but anyway, okay. so next day I did, I actually did sing. And the next day he asked me to join this new band that he started with Johan. Because um, they were friends even before high school. Uh, and Johan had a neighbor, he played drums in another band, his name was Frederick, so well, we brought him in and 
then we met Jesper a year later at a festival because we had all the electronic stuff that we had it was all programmed on, on like an old uh, drum machine and we're like we need to get a guy playing all those parts instead of having a machine doing it so we're like Jesper would you like to join this band and he's like yeah cool was he in another band already he, he played a uh, like um, with his brother he had a He's like a classical play piano player, so he Trained. definitely knew how to play oh, yeah. keyboards and piano. But he was absolutely the perfect guy because he was into electronic music and he played with his brother. Um, but he was like 16, we were like 18, so he was still in high school and the first couple of shows we did, he was not even allowed to come in because he was too young. So we had to sneak, in, sneak him <laughs> in through like the back door and you know, give him a couple of beers on the, you know, like, <laughs> go. And then after the show, he had to sneak out the back door again. It was pretty funny. Are the Swedes known for drinking? Yeah. They are. Everybody, culture, the whole culture, pretty yeah. much. Yeah. And Finnish people, they drink even more. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's the, I don't know, I think it's the cold, you know? Like, it's so cold during the winter that you really got to keep yourself warm. I was looking at other interviews with you guys, uh, and you were saying that you guys have like small, you guys set small goals together per year, every year, and you guys try to accomplish every goal as you go along. Yeah, I mean that's, I think that has been our, um, how do you say, that has been our way of achieving goals taking, taking along the way. Steps, yeah. Instead of having like one big goal, because mm -hmm. it's going to be so hard to reach that goal that during the way you'll be like fuck it it's never gonna happen anyway but if you have like small goals let's say like when we started the band our, our big, the, the biggest dream at the time was to play at the local venue the big venue we're gonna play at the main stage you know and that would be our biggest goal to get there and then the next goal was to be like maybe we can get a record deal you know and Let's try to get a record deal, and then we, when we got the record deal, all right, let's try to uh, become, you know, a, a big success. What's the success. ultimate goal? Well, the ultimate goal is to become a really, you know, I, I want to become as big as possible, really. Like, we've never set out to be, like, I don't like when bands think they're, like, too cool for school and the audience, they're stupid, they don't 